Hello, this is Miss Tracy from K-12 Next Generation. And this is just going to be a short instructional video to explain to you how to make place value tenths. Now if you're in K-12 Next Generation and you have the chip trading module, these are in the attachment. If you're not, all you need to do is to write in place value tenths into your browser and it will come up and then you can download these too. Right. And these will, are, are kind of a fun thing. It took me a while to figure out how to do them. First of all, you are definitely going to want to make sure that you um, copy them off onto the heavy paper. And if you have contact paper to be able to go over these numbers, then that would be a really good thing. Because you use them a lot and they'll break down very quickly. Um, it does tell you to color your boards, or your, your numbers, and, um, and I, I did sort of follow the directions to begin with, and then I realized I probably shouldn't have, and I'll show you why. We have a chip trading board, and they tell us to color the um, ones, these are going to be the ones. They tell us to color them pink. So if we color them pink or red, we're going to get really confused with our hundreds. And they did the same thing with the hundreds. They said to color them yellow. The thousands and the tens, they were okay. They were green and blue. So I would suggest that you end up coloring these to match the chip trading board. You're going to see that I didn't do that. And so it might confuse it a little bit when I show you what I have, but I think you'll figure it out okay. And when you get this all colored, you cut along the lines here where it tells you to, so that you have two pieces, and then you cut down on the lines. And what you have is a whole lot of little pieces, like this all the ones that I have. Okay. And yours are going to be the right color. Okay. And one side is blank, and one side has a number on it. Okay. So those are the ones. I'm going to just have to move them off into a pile. And these are the tens. Okay. Again, Blank on one side, put the number on the other, they're folded, and they're called tent because they stand up like little tents. And the hundreds, okay. right here, same thing. And thousands, right here. And I'm going to show you how these work, and it's really kind of neat. You're always going to start with the big number. So I just grabbed any one for right now, if I didn't write anything on the board. And I have, I have 2,000, and I just grab any hundreds. So I'm going to put that right over 2,000 and things. Grab a tens. and grab a one. So, what number does that give us? That's right. It gives us 2,957. Okay. Now this is what I thought was really neat because now that we laid our number out, let's pull it apart. And what do we have? We have it now an expanded number. We have 2,000 plus 
900 plus 50 plus 7. So we have it in an expanded form. Is that not cool? I can't wait to see how yours looks. I know they're going to be the right colors. So this is Miss Tracy saying good evening. Have a great day.